Hi, I'm Amy Ludwig Vanderwater. Welcome to day 34 of Keeping a Notebook and day 22 of National Poetry Month. This is Betsy the Writing Camper, a beeline from the late 60s where we meet. 2020 is my 11th year of writing a poem each day of National Poetry Month. I always write around a different theme. For this year's poetry project, I have decided to introduce surprise. Each April day, I will share a poem's can phrase about writing poetry. I will roll three word dice. If a die rolls blank, I will not re-roll it. I will write a poem inspired by one, two, or all three of the face-up words. Today's Roll the Dice poetry chat is titled, Poems Can Be Written in the Voice of Another. And let's roll those dice. One, two, and three. Wind, a wild card, and want. Wind, a wild card, and want. Hello to you, my dear, darling, notebooking friends. On day 34 of Keeping a Notebook, on day 22 of National Poetry Month, I am happy you are here. And today's poetry chat is titled, Poems Can Be Written in the Voice of Another. And this means, we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but when a poet writes a poem or a story or something else, we can write in our own voice or we can write in the voice of someone else. So I could write in the voice of a historical character, in the voice of a book character. I could write in the voice of an invented character. I could write in the voice of my mom. I can write in any voice that I choose. It doesn't mean the person really said those things, but as a writer, I can create a world in my poem where I speak as someone else, even an animal or an object. I could make this pine cone speak. And so this is, again, one of the neat things about being a writer is we can create situations in worlds that don't exist in the real world. So today our words are wind, a wild card, and want. And I was pretty excited about rolling the word wind because wind, I mentioned this the other day, wind has been something that has come up in many of my little mouse poems and Antoinette and Glorious and now Sonata poems. And so I have my jottings here. I wrote wind, it's the air, or there's wind with a long eye. So if I were taking a ball of yarn and winding the yarn, this is just thread, but winding the thread or winding the yarn, that's spelled the same way as wind, but I, I'm more interested right now in the word wind, that you, one might feel the wind in one's fur. I've written about that before, I think. In the wild card, I didn't jot anything, but for want, I said it's to wish to have. You might want something that you don't have, or you might want something that you already do have because you're grateful you have it. And I started to jot here, wind is a word that has been coming up for me. I'm not sure why. It has been windy outside on and off, and I sometimes feel unsettled in the wind. Wind is stirring. I thought maybe I would not write about Antoinette's flight, but somehow I know I must. Maybe I will write in her voice. So I'm following this story of Antoinette and how she was getting a ride on the back of Sonata the Crow. And I was fully prepared to not write about the flight, to have her back home, to have her thanking Sonata afterward. But with the word wind, I realized I actually really want to write about her being up there in the sky. So you can see a couple of cross outs as I thought of the title afterward, but I'll just read you what I have here. You can see it first. Okay, here we go. Flying thoughts. Wind blows back my face fur. I grasp Sonata's neck. Violets have vanished. Sun kisses my back. I am flying in wind like a starling or crow. Wind fills my ears. I know what birds know. Land is my home. Sky is home too. I love our world, green, brown, and blue. I am wild. I am mouse. I am wind. So I felt like I was Antoinette writing this poem, almost like I was on the back of Sonata the Crow, looking down at the world and imagining what it would be like to fly. Some of you may have noticed there's some repetition in this poem. I am wild. I am mouse. I am wind.
Island, and some alliteration like we talked about earlier this month. Violets have vanished. My face fur, right, blows back. Some of these things I did on purpose, and sometimes, like I mentioned yesterday with rhyme, sometimes it just happens. So I wish you a good day today writing about possibly wind, a wild card, all, any word, and or want. And I know some of you are rolling your own dice and some of you have made a code from number dice and some of you are drawing pieces of paper and some of you are just taking inspiration in any way that works for you, which is absolutely as it should be. So I'm grateful you're here. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye. On the left-hand side of these pages, you can see my jottings around today's words. Taking notes helps me think and explore about what my poem wishes to be. The wind, the wind, Antoinette loves the wind. Today's words are wind, a wild card, and want. Wind, a wild card, and want. Enjoy! Thank you for joining me on day 22 of National Poetry Month. May the wind blow you just where you need and wish to be.